Welcome to Fact or Freestyle. People love Dave Dory, and they always answer the phone when he calls. When we get him on Zoom, we ask him to confirm rumors. Let's see how far down the rabbit hole we go. James McGraw is an overwanter, or Pedro Melo is an underwanter? Which is more true? I want to know so much more about Pedro because I'm obsessed with his death tracks. So I don't even know if that's true, but I'm going to say it just because I want to know more about Pedro. Well, that's kind of the point: is that he's uh, he's um, a little bit of a he's an underground, a little bit underground. Yes. Okay. Joe Johnson has ants in his pants when he invented the Vertail Whip, yeah. or Craig Campbell drowned the ants in his pants when he did a 540 off the barge in Austin, Texas. You know, the whole ants in the pants thing to me seems like it's all freestyle, but I feel like Joe, I, I saw Joe Johnson on the episode say that that was like a legit like thing, like uh, so, ants in his pants. So I'm gonna go with Joe Johnson, ants in his pants over Craig Campbell. Okay. So Brian Bleiser named his first flatland trick the Drano or Jose Yenez is planning to do, to take out his vendetta at Baldy Pipe. Now, Brian Blyther, I heard of him before. So, I'm just gonna just, you know, I was uh, born well after you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, that's why I know. This is like, really going at it. So, like, it's really <laughs> funny to ask me these questions. Yeah, that's... But just because I know that Brian Blyther is like a real person, I'm gonna go You're with gonna that. You're gonna go with that. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Matt Wilhelm was a member of the South Side Chicago gang. Or, Terry Adams created the Katrina in order to land a liquor license, or a liquor sponsor for Voodoo Jam that would replace New Orleans drink, official drink. Both untrue, but maybe Matt with the Chicago gang. Really, okay. Yeah, but fun fact about Chicago gang, my dad, my real dad, he passed away when I was 12, but he was actually, in a gang in South Side of Chicago, no kidding. the Gaylords. If you look up the Gaylords, if you look up the the Gaylords South Side of Chicago, my dad's in every photo. Yeah, you'll see it like a look alike. I mean, Whoa. Yeah. Okay, good bit. Of, that's the kind of thing that comes out of yeah. these shows when we yeah. ask these questions. Okay, Robert Riley has beard extensions, or Robert Riley is Fred Gates' assistant that has to hear all the sponsor me pitches every Sunday morning. Who are these sponsor me pitches from? <laughs> well, anybody that spawn, you know, trying to get reclamation. I know. I'm going with, as you said, where I can get beard extensions. So I'm going yeah. with the beard extensions. Oh, you're going, yeah, because you obviously are maybe yeah. a candidate. You need yeah, to, I need okay. Yeah. And you? Longer one. Um, I think <laughs> he has to go through sponsor me submissions. <laughs> yeah. I can totally see him do that. Fred's like, hey, I got these bunch of DMs or yeah. emails or, yeah, friend requests, who knows. Joe Sickman is an over joker or... I don't even need to hear the second part. Or Dave Norrie is an over stoker. It's got to be Joe. It's got to be, be, gotta be Joe. Joe is yeah. like anonymous, hands down. Yeah. But you just take the cake in this department. Rick Allison is an over open booker or Brett Downs is an over name dropper. Brett Downs is an over name dropper. Oh, he's right <laughs> over there. <laughs> Jim, just hand over there just for a second. Just get him. Hey, Brett, how's, how's dinner, Brett? Hey. hey, Brett. Brett. How's dinner? Oh, no, you didn't have to get up. I just wanted to know how's oh, dinner. Dinner's fantastic. Okay, good. But I got, I got a little styrofoam container of corn, and it was marked with a K on the lid, so for corn. So that's <laughs> of course, because of course. K and Kevin Jones. <laughs> nice! Ron Wilkerson is an overhyper, or Brian Blyther is an overdrifter? Brian Blyther is an overdrifter. Um, I think that um, I'm not even going to make, I'm not even going to try to make up an explanation. Okay. But I just feel in my gut that. He is a police is, officer, and the story a, and the story I know is that when he got training, and you basically have to like try to catch, you know, you, you're basically in a car, and you have to catch the car ahead of you, oh. and he always would catch him. So they're like, "Look, Brian, you're going to be the driver, and they're going to try to catch you because he's he was such a good yeah. driver, right?" 
but the other thing is that Wilkerson is also pretty good at hyping things. Yeah. Like, so that's kind of why it's a touch one. But you're going to go with Brian. Ed Jody is an over grinner, or Dax Welford is an over dater. <laughs> well, you, you've got first hand knowledge on, on Exactly, and on, on 50% of this. Well, I never thought of Ed as being an, an over grinner, but. Uh, Wait. Uh, no, you know what? He's, uh, he has a good smile. So I'm going to go with Ed. I'm going to go with Ed. <laughs> You're going to go with Ed. Uh, and Art? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know that you can really smile too much. Okay. JF is an over pumper or Bill Nitsky is an over shower. <laughs> this is, again, these are very, very difficult uh, to decide each way. Gosh, Bill has been doing shows for over 30 years. Like how many shows has Bill Exactly. Hundreds, hundreds. Have seen thousands. Bill do exactly. his, his, his stunts. Thousands, I mean, thousands of people yeah. all over the country. I mean, he invented one of the most uh, iconic, really flatland, but beyond flatland BMX tricks of all time now, uh, you know, with the uh, Whopper, you know, tail whip, um, bunny hop tail whip. You know, I'm still probably going to have to go with JF as an over pumper, but I love, I love JF. He was That's just at my house. You had to go all through that and then still go I know, with JF. I know. Yellow is an over slammer. <laughs> or Ruben Castillo is an overflower. I just rode with Ruben just at the old school reunion, and man, the guy still's got the flow. Not to sway, I'm not trying yeah. to sway, I'm just... No, well, from think... what I saw today, I saw a lot of slamming. I yeah. Think, I, think, I think yellow is an over slammer. You think yeah. Yeah, yellow is an over slammer? Yeah. Okay. In, in, he could in, ride in a good dino way. slammer. He could, be he, he could, be, <laughs> he could bring slammer. the slammer back. <laughs> Like kids would just, yeah. we're talking about how to he build. He could be the spokesperson for the dinosaur. Like ladies and model. gentlemen. He could be the model. Like, like ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Yellow, come on out. Yellow, yeah. di yellow Dino Slammer, I see oh it already. Right <laughs> come and get your Yellow, yellow Dino Slammer. slammer. Your 2022 <laughs> Yellow Dino yeah. Slammer. Yeah. All right, we see where the direction of this is going. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay, Brian Huffman sure. is an over-denier <laughs> or that's really uh, Tom timely. Potter oh. is an over yeser. Oh. Now I'll say the same thing I said to, to Brian. Like, you know, you're in this one, so you, you know, do your best uh, to be as honest yeah. and as as I, I'm biased as possible. But I, I'm probably an over yeser. Ooh, I'm probably yeah. going to say I'm an over yeser. Uh, I do say yes probably too much, um, <laughs> but I'll, I can work on that. I can work on that. <laughs> Terry Adams is an under wrencher or Matt Wilhelm is an over glover? I must say Matt's an over glover. You want to know why? Because he puts on a tape glove before he even puts on a real glove over the tape glove that he puts on every one of his fingers. And this thing, the plausible thumbs, the digits, yeah, even tapes those up. You know how long it takes to do that? Long it takes to put a pair of gloves on. I know that. He's an over glover then. Yeah. Good job, Matt. Okay. But we figured out what the tape was for. We didn't ask him, but we felt like he spends so much and all the blood goes into your fingertips. And then all the blood's there and he loses it in his brain and then he probably pass he out spinning. He gets pinched nerves a lot. Maybe. So that helps with that. But he spins so fast that, you know. Regardless, we just know Matt. we can accept him as an over-glover. Yes. Like that, we can embrace him as that. Yes. Okay, good. It's hard to wear gloves when I flatland, man. It's... I've tried it. I, I, I can get used to it. In the if cold? If they're tight enough. If they're, if they're, if they're thin. And thin, tight. I'll plug somebody. Okay. The Sabrosa gloves are good. In all these weird, random directions, so we need a little, a little help. Need back checking? Yeah, we need a little help. Okay. So, Jim McKay is an over encroacher, or Ter Trevor Mayer is an over, well, over encroacher. <laughs> Mark Eaton is an over mixer, <laughs> or James McGraw is an over calmer. I know you have to think about he's an over calmer. I'm going Calm? with, with yeah. Mark Eaton. I'm, a, a I'm definitely an over mixer. <laughs> For sure. I definitely over mix. Art Thomason. <laughs> as he walks by, is an over underrated or Scott Powell is an over flexor? Art underrated. I think I agree too. The worst trick, not your worst trick. What is the worst trick? Uh, worst trick, cross-handed steamroller, just for fun. Yeah, cross-handed steamroller. Do you do cross-handed steamrollers? I have the ability to do, do them. No, no, I, no, that's not the ability. I, do you do them? In secret. <laughs> in secret. Only, only in the sun. Only during dusk. During dusk. Yeah. 
Amari, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you, guys. All right, go rip yeah. it up for us. All right. All right. Okay, now just a few words because Joe Sickman needs to get on the plywood hoods and Brett Downs is, we have to pitch him. So just say to the camera, to, as if as if Brett's watching it, the qualities that you have, that you think Joe, Joe Sickman has to be on the plywood hoods. But for Joe to be on the plywood hoods? Yeah. He's a good break dancer. And, um, break dancing. He was obviously in Dorkin 5, we all know that. And he was in, I think he was in Dorkin 6. Was he? Yeah. So, okay. then he factor be... freestyle, I don't know. Okay. So well, he should definitely be a plywood hood. No doubt. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for your time. All right. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. You killed it. You know he's dedicated to the people that he likes to joke with, and that's probably his number one uh, tactic in getting in your brain system. And uh, outside of that, he's got his own place to ride. Who buys a house with a garage yeah, like that and commits to that? That is a financial commitment. And in a hard time like now, that's a burden sometimes for some people. So the fact that he does that, you know, he's got some skills that he's committed to Flatland. He only rides Flatland. If you guys ever see Joe's bike get this high off the ground, it's because he's jumping out of a trick usually and it's bouncing. Yeah. For Joe, he's committed to Flatland. I think that's one of the key ingredients for any hood. You watch the guys that are a hood nowadays, any of the hoods, they still ride. Almost every one of them. I don't know one that doesn't ride. So, Joe, no, just Brett, keep doing. I'm talking to Brett. Well, I'm talking to Brett, but I'm telling Joe okay, to keep good. up what you're doing, man. And you know what? There's never going to be a chance that you're ever going to be a plywood hood. No, you can't say that. <laughs> Cut that off. We're trying. To... Come on, these are clips we're going to use for later on. You know I'm going to get my stuff in here. Listen, Joe. All fun aside, there is a chance. I don't know what percentage of a chance, but there's a chance that you could be a plywood hood someday. But it's up to Brett Downs. Brett, what do you think? Brett, I'd say Joe is definitely a hard worker on and off the bike. And he brings originality. And I like to say, with, with, with our sport and any other sport that takes a lot of time and practice, we only see the highlight reels. We never see the blood, sweat, and tears. And I know Joe has a lot of the a lot of crashes uh, and injuries that come with all of his originality. So I think, like they say, originality is a must whenever I bust. And that's Joe. So what do you know of qualities that Mr. Sickman brings to our community, to BMX, yeah. to inter entertainment, creativity? creativity? I completely agree with that. There's no... And he's really good at pushing buttons. Yes. And he's really good at pushing buttons. And I'm helping him understand the value of that button. <laughs> and, <laughs> and know, you know, maybe we should back off or <laughs> tune it down. Okay, creativity. You um, know, Brett, Brett's a tough cookie to crack. And you two are well, like... Brett, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, no. It's kind of like, um, if he, maybe if he moved to York right now, like that'd, just, be a, that'd be a really bold statement oh. <laughs> to go there. So just your pitch is move there. so your pitch to Brett is <laughs> Joe. My, just just for a good part of the summer. So here's here's how here's how you do it. Okay, Joe. <laughs> you move to York and you don't tell anybody, and you just start riding at all the places. Every time by yeah. yourself until somebody sees you at the place, and they're like, Joe, what and are you doing like, here? Oh, well, what? I, I live like two yeah, I've been here, like, I, I live like right over here. This, I, I love this place, and like, don't yeah. tell anyone. Don't tell and anybody. then the word will get to Brett. Brett, we saw well, Joe, will, like, no, Kevin will come out, Kevin oh. will just come out because oh, that's it because, because hey, he'll have been there enough. That yes, Kevin will draw Kevin he's out. not there for the wrong reasons, he's there for the right reasons. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's Kevin beautiful. Will come right there, like, <laughs> we'll get Kevin out for sure. All right. It'll be like, there's a guy there riding every day. Well, I'm, I'm, over, I'm there, what yeah. I, what I would like to do is to see if we can maybe get a little time machine and, oh. and get him back, like, to Mount Rose. Yeah, in the oh. early 90s. And enjoy the goop. Yeah. Right, because then he'll just be naturally, in, he'll just naturally be yeah. integrated in. Mm -hmm. And then it, then it would have been... But I that's don't. risky because that could even, change the whole. Per, that could, I mean, that could send no. it in another wormhole or open up. Right, that's but a risky. You wouldn't even have to ask. You didn't have to ask. You just moved there and you rode, and then you, you just like it was an auto induct. Auto induct. Oh man, Joe, <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> auto induct. I don't think we've ever heard that terminology <laughs> yet. That's and that too, you're closer that, and closer. That alone just rests like he's just right. He's almost like it's almost like Kevin's. Him? 
<laughs> yeah, it's yeah, almost like it'll, it's it'll like a it's like a chess move, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. he, gets slid over. he gets slid over. Kevin just Palm comes into the, the picture, pawns out of the way, yep. and the kingpin just comes yeah. right up. And then it don't even matter. Yeah. Great. Kevin might answer your phone call. Like he might call him, and Kevin will be like, "Hey, what's up?" Like. I'm at the I spot. Mean, you won't hear the birds yeah. in the background. Yeah. I'm at the spot. Let's hit. Let, let's you, you do this. Might, you might get an answer, but you might. Once you have Joe on your side, there's probably not a a, a better ally. Uh, who I mean, Joe brings jokes. Uh, he brings a, a great insight. Uh, Joe is kind of a genius. Not kind of. Joe is a genius. So he brings this. Uh, this whole back, a lot of folks don't even know that Joe is like this, uh, I won't say the company name, but he is a consultant. And if you find him on LinkedIn, you will be very impressed at the articles that he's had hands in um, producing and creating and his leads teams that uh, are out front of certain types of technology. And uh, Joe's had uh, a very strong career in the technical world. Dude is brilliant. Uh, a lot of people just see him as a jokester, which he has he, that. He, 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 he has he, that quality. He and he's, he's mastered it in many he ways. He has mastered he's but mastered the, the jokes. Account, so maybe we just have to send Brett. Maybe, down yeah, you could LinkedIn. check check that the LinkedIn. You would be impressed, Brett. You okay. you would really uh, you Perfect. would you would love his LinkedIn account. I think the other thing is is that you know that uh, when Joe was in your corner, he's always in your corner. So he's not going to flake out. I mean, there was a time that Joe was on Team Bacon, and uh, I mean he was on Team Water as well, and uh, Joe's gonna support you till the end. There's no, absolutely no question. He'll yeah. be there till His the very end. Yeah. He's dedicated. That he's himself, he doesn't care what other people think. He does his own thing, and even if no one gets his jokes, I don't think he really cares. He's just gonna keep joking. So that alone, uh, man, let that dude in. Yeah, yeah, exactly, that's let, enough, right there. Let, let that dude in. Flatland's all about being yourself, and what a better candidate to, to jump in such a, up a, such a, a unique group of guys, so let that dude in. Hey everybody, so here's the time. This is when we're gonna come in and do the Flatland Fuel $20 gift certificate giveaway. There's gonna be a code that flashes on the screen. Go, write this down and go immediately to Flatland Fuel. Buy something, enter this code, it, it will be a total pain in the ass. It's like 20 characters long. Go ahead and get your money and buy some bike parts from Flatland Fuel because they're sponsoring the show now.